All right, so I want to share something with you that's a little personal. And for a long time, I thought, well, I don't think I'm going to talk about some of these things because, I don't know, I felt like maybe I was trying to respect someone or whatever the case may be. But the thing is, is that I realize every relationship in my life has been just a lesson, which ultimately has been the blessing. That's what our relationships are are supposed to be they're the and and primarily i'm talking about romantic relationships every relationship we have in our lives is important but our romantic ones that is the most important decision of your life who you choose to partner with who you choose to partner with is going to be everything it's i believe truly wholeheartedly the make or break of your life it's either going to hold you back or it's going to or it's going to propel you into just significant growth. The hardest part about relationships is that they're the hardest things to let go of, you know, because we identify with them so much because we're always trying to find that belief, like I'm enough. I'm attractive enough. I'm smart enough. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good enough at this. I'm good enough at that. And these are, these are genuine mirrors. They serve as mirrors to the things we need to really connect with internally. But the, the moral of this story, and I can go more in depth in those, on those things as well. If you want, let me know in the comments. I can talk about those things. But just like our patterns and how our brain connects the familiar and, and the safety and what it means and like how the quantum field is interacting with it. And I don't know, I, I'm trying to get a feel for like the kind of content that people are looking for on this platform. What information uh, is it that I'm supposed to be sharing? And so a lot of times I've been just trying to channel the moment and be completely present. And when, when the, when it hits, I just make the video and I was putting myself on this strict thing, you know, of like Monday, Wednesday, Friday making a video and now I'm just, whenever I get the inspiration, I'm making one. And so I had the inspiration about an idea. So this all came up here. I'm going to get, finally get to the video. If you made it this far, thank you. <clears throat> so I was making dinner and I started cooking and I started adding these ingredients and I was thinking, man, yeah, this is like, I was using some yum yum sauce and some chicken and I had some uh, shallots, you know, and some avocado and I had some, some berries in the salad and I made this fruit salad that is phenomenal. And I was looking at my food and I was like, wow, that is like, that's amazing. And then I, and then I recognized that my ex, like she was a professional cook and she taught me, she taught me that. <laughs> She taught me a thing or two about cooking and, you know, it's subconscious even if I wasn't aware of it. But the most beautiful thing about this is that there was an emotional attachment to shallots because we used to make a ton of shallots. Uh, we all loved them. Me, me, her, the kids, everyone loved them. So we made a ton of shallots and that's what I was like cooking with. And I realized the emotional attachment to it just, it really made me like remember how to cook shallots to the way I, I like them. And I just, I thought it was a beautiful moment in a true, genuine recognition of like, I learned so much in that relationship, even, even down to something as small as like learning how to cook better. Isn't that something to be grateful for? Isn't that amazing? Truly think about the fact that I now <laughs> can do something better than I ever have or do something new or something different because of an experience that I had with someone. And when you're in the moment with them, that's when you remember it the most. When you are truly in the moment. And that's what I remembered about the whole shallots thing. I remembered being completely submerged in the moment with this person. And I was like, this is crazy. And now it's coming up for me, you know, and I just, and I'm just, I was flabbergasted. I was just like, this is, this is really truly what life is about. It's about these experiences. It's about what we learn from one another and how we can teach one another a thing or two. And the best thing that we can teach is, you know, a little bit more about who we are, right? Like if, and that's the biggest lesson I got from my relationships, especially my romantic ones, is the fact that 
everything. And now when I sit back, I'm thinking, wow, I, I taught her daughter a ton of things and her daughter taught me a ton of things. And I'm like, we were all teaching each other everything. Like we, we manifested each other into our lives because we needed that guidance, right? Like we, whether you want to, you know, whether we created that before we came into this existence, which I do believe, you know, there's a path and, and I think there's the, the, I don't think we'll ever know, but I do believe there's some truth behind that. And I think that we aligned perfectly and, and made whatever from it as, as we could. And it was the, it was the only relationship that everything about it was different. Everything about it was different. I never had anything in my life like that at all. And so it almost felt, I guess you could say like this, this is your final lesson. This is really going to show you who you are. You have a choice to make. You're either going to be who you are or you're going to walk in a, in a false uh in a in a fake in a facade. I don't really know what to say there. I just you're going to not live authentically. And so here I am, man. I'm just I'm putting it out there because this I and, the, and like I I literally was just cooking. And I had this thought, I'm not, I didn't even eat my food yet. And I just came in here and I wanted to share the video because I thought it was a, a beautiful moment and it was, and it's true and it's genuine. And, and that's how you rewrite the script because in the beginning, I couldn't see these things. I didn't have that perception because I was angry and I was sad and I was hurt, right? And I was, and I was deflecting and I was, and I was trying to blame everything and everyone else. And until I realized, no, look at you. Why did you create this? And as I rewrite my story, right, in moments like this, that's just true belief because it's the truth. And now that's my narrative. I get to see it from this place. I get to see exactly that. I get to see, hey, I learned so much from that relationship. And I, and I, the love, the love that filled that relationship. You know, it's like, I think that's why it's the, it was like the hardest thing to ever do because there's been love all the way through and it was never about this like heinous, I don't love you or this malicious, like vindictive thing. It, it was always just choose love. And sometimes choosing love, man, is not choosing each other. And that's the hardest lesson I've ever learned in my life. Because you can't change them. <laughs> and you end up in this just loop of doom where you just trigger each other. And then it gets worse and worse and worse. And, and that's what holds you back. That's what people can't let go. And here's the truth. If it's meant to be in your life, it will be with where you're trying to go. This is why having the determination, the grit, having the, the, the ability to stay strong, even in the moments when it seems impossible, it seems impossible. You have to find ways to calm yourself. Work with your nervous system. Calm your parasympathetic nervous system. Get your breath in. In five seconds, you can literally, if, you're, if you have the level of awareness of what the script is saying, right? So prior to all of this, my script was not saying this stuff. So I wasn't able to be aware of the new identity that I've embodied where I love. That is all. I choose love in my moments because that's all there is to choose. And love isn't always pretty, though. It doesn't mean just like when people say, oh, choose love, always choose love. La, rainbows, butterflies. Love, right? This like bliss. No, that's not true at all. Love, especially discipline and self-love. Discipline, right? That's the highest level of self-love. When you're disciplined to yourself, when you honor yourself, when you trust you, when you say... I'm going to go to the gym and then you actually go to the gym when you say I'm not going to tolerate this person's behavior anymore and then you 
separate yourself from them, no matter how difficult it may be, no matter if that means you got to go ask if you can live it with your mom or your aunt or your sister or your brother, whatever it takes, you will find the way. You will, or you'll make excuses. I, it's just the way life works. Don't, I don't care what people say. I've, I've experienced it enough. And the most powerful thing you can do is treat people always with kindness and with dignity and respect because you don't know how that energy travels. It could travel right back to you where someone says, hey, I heard about you. I've never heard anyone say anything bad about you ever, not once. And then boom, there's your blessing. What is it? Who knows? If you're homeless and someone gets you off the street or something, you don't know. But that energy will find its way back to you, just like a situation like that. Or else it could be like, oh, I heard about you. You deserve where, you, where you're at kind of thing, right? And I know it's way off topic, but what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to sum up is that what I've come to learn is that we are here to learn. We are here to learn. And our number one teachers are our relationships. And the, the top tier is your romantic relationship because that's everything involving the most powerful energy that there is, which is your sexual energy. Your sexual energy is your creative energy. It creates life itself. So when you mix those two things up, be ready because it's going to be the most powerful thing that there is. That's all we have. At the end of the day, that that emotional bonding, that true, genuine connection through physical intimacy. There's nothing like that. Nothing. So the moral of this is just recognize that you are always writing the script. And in real time, I was able to just be grateful. I was able to be grateful for an experience that hurt me. And, and that's how you find gratitude in life and in moments and for everything that has ever happened ever and so i hope you found value in this video i appreciate you being here